Hi there, Paul here from the Sports Performance Research Institute here in New Zealand. In this clip, I discuss the effect of hyperthermic conditioning, also known as heat acclimation, on physiology, heat tolerance, and exercise performance, along with its practical application for athletes. What I'm referring to particularly is using specific heat sessions as a supplemental training tool to gain resilience to exercise or heat stress and ultimately improve performance. Now within this strategy of heat sessions, we're aiming to give the body a period of time where its temperature is elevated, as can be seen in this example. You can achieve this in a number of different ways. You could use a sauna exposure either before or after your workout, or even as a workout itself, as you'll soon discover that even sauna bathing can be challenging. Or you can exercise in hot conditions using, for example, a climate chamber and an exercise ergometer of your choice. Or you could simply train outdoors in warm weather or in moderate temperatures but wearing lots of clothing. The important principle to realize is that you need to get hot for this particular session to gain the adaptations that we're after. Now let's look at some of the potential adaptations you might gain with thermal preconditioning. And to do so, I want to take you through one study, and it's my favorite one to date in the thermal preconditioning literature because it used highly trained athletes and a realistic protocol before a key competition in the heat. And it showed everything we'd expect to see from a heat training standpoint. The study was conducted by Andrew Garrett and colleagues from Jim Cotter's lab here in New Zealand. Now here's a look at their design. They had these eight highly trained rowers do some baseline tests before they performed five consecutive days of cycling in the heat for 90 minutes. And during that time, they maintained a core temperature of 38 and a half degrees Celsius. They followed this up with some post-testing before the team traveled overseas to a hot competition in Taiwan, where it was about 35 degrees Celsius and 60 to 80 percent humidity. And here's what they found. This first graph here shows how they're able to do more and more work in each heat session before their core temperature reached 38 and a half degrees Celsius. Now this reduced time to get to these high temperatures suggests improved metabolic efficiency and thermal regulation and would be of obvious advantage for sport success. They also found the classic reductions in heart rate by more than 10 beats a minute and core temperature was also lower by about 0.3 degrees Celsius as can be seen here at the 20 minute point in their heat stress tests. Now both of these adaptations are likely related to the dehydration induced plasma volume expansion that happens with heat acclimation, well documented. As depicted here, the adrenal cortex detects this dehydration and increases aldosterone production, which causes the kidney to retain both sodium and water and elicit some of these adaptations that we see. We also find a greater skin blood flow and sweating rate to rid excess heat, a reduced reliance on carbohydrate or glycogen as a metabolic fuel, and we use more fat instead. Exercise feels easier and we feel cooler. And most importantly, performance is enhanced, as can be seen here in their study, where after heat acclimation, the rowers improved their 2,000 meter rowing ergometer performance time by an average of four seconds. Now there's a number of further physiological benefits of heat acclimation for exercise performance that extend into power, sprint, and strength-based athletes, which are beyond the scope of this talk, but are projects we have ongoing here at the Sports Performance Research Institute. In summary, hyperthermic preconditioning is a supplemental training tool that coaches and trainers can use to enhance exercise tolerance in the heat and exercise performance in both hot and cool conditions. As with all training techniques, Use these with proper progression and common sense to get the most effective results.